Hello and welcome to the 20th tutorial of the Swift programming series and we're going to be looking at class constructors today. Class constructors are run when an object is created of that class. In the previous tutorial we looked at classes and even though we didn't implement a constructor um, ourselves, there was a default constructor. So just bear that in mind. This, uh, but you, you can also create your own um, constructors and this allows stuff like variable setup to take place by default each class has a constructor like mentioned but you can specify your own we can have we can even have multiple constructors that are called depending on how you create the objects because you can also pass in parameters because the constructor will just look very much like a regular function so let's just open up our project And what we're going to do is just simply create a class. Similar to the last tutorial, we're going to call it car. Create a variable speed equal 100. Another variable called strand. You make it equal to 100 in it. And in it basically stands for initialize, and this is the constructor. And by default, it's this one is called if you don't provide any parameters when you instantiate an object and we're going to create another one called in it and in here we're just going to have a few variables so speed temp this is going to be an int we're going to have strand temp this is going to be another int and in here we're going to do speed equals speed temp we do strength equals strength temp and um, we're just going to create a function called func damage car we're going to damage int and in here we're going to do strength minus equal damage and we're going to put bar bmw equals car when we instantiate it, we're going to put speed temp colon, then the value of speed temp, and it's going to be 500. We're going to put strength temp, and that's going to be 987. And that's how you construct a class, I mean an object of a class. You can either have nothing inside it, which we did in the previous tutorial, and this would call this function or you know, which they by default and you can put stuff in there as well or you can put stuff in there and it will call this one so what we're going to do is just do print line bmw.strength and bmw.damagecar and put 20 in it and put print line and inside we're going to put bmw.strength so if we run this now we got 987 which is what we specified when we constructed it and 967 which is what would happen when you take 20 away from it so that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial we're going to look at enumeration if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or directly message us via youtube all the required links for source code will also be in the description and as usual thanks for watching and have a nice day